The Australian Library and Information Association is not only a mouthful to say, but learning how you can use it as a library student can be kind of tough. So having been involved with the association for a few years now, I'm going to share with you everything I wish I knew way back when so that you can get more bang for your buck. Hello Job Hunters, I'm Jade from Miss Coco the Librarian, where I help you create an online presence and navigate your career path. In today's video, I'll be covering all the ways that student and new grad librarians can use their ALIA membership to enhance their networking opportunities and job hunting. Before I continue, a little disclaimer, this video is in no way endorsed by ALIA. I am giving this advice from my own personal experience working with ALIA volunteer committees and in being ALIA's ACT state manager a couple of years back. When I think of ALIA, I think of three parts. The volunteer run things, the advisory committees, and all of the things that the staff at ALIA's national office do for us in Canberra. As students, you will probably be most exposed to the things that the volunteers of ALIA do for you. Have you attended an ALIA resume workshop or key selection criteria cinema? Those events are run by the volunteer committee, ALIA's student and new grad group, otherwise known as ALIA SNIG. There is a branch of this committee in each state and territory, and they specifically help people like you in their job hunting and networking. All the ALIA SNIG events are free or a gold coin donation and I really recommend that you make the effort to attend their events because the experts that they have speaking are the type of people that you want to network with. They also have an active online presence, something that I helped them build up when I was part of the volunteer committee. So go read their blog and follow them on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. If you can't get involved by attending their events, there is plenty of opportunity for you to learn and network through their online presence. And Anna and Maddie, the two co-conveners of Alia Sneak, would never forgive me if I didn't at least mention that attending Alia Sneak events is a great idea, but if you really want to get involved in the industry and boost your job hunting and networking prospects, why don't you join the committee yourself? You will have direct access to those experts that the committee invites to speak at their events and those experts will get to know you. They will remember you because you would have elevated yourself to the front lines of that mass of students and new grad librarians I'm sure that they deal with every day. I will put links to the Alia Sneaks online presence in the description below so please check them out. Before we continue, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I bring out a video a week all about helping you create an online presence that gets you noticed, which is an excellent thing for your job hunt. Now, the ALIA advisory committee most relevant to student and new grad librarians would be ALIA's new generation committee, otherwise known as ALIA NJAC. The advisory committees in general uh, help keep ALIA informed of trends within our sector so that ALIA can then be proactive in addressing them. The advisory committees are also voluntary and I'm sure they would be happy to have you join them. I'll put a link to the governance structure of ALIA in the description below and it also includes a list of all of the advisory committees that ALIA has so you can have a look through them and maybe join one if that's something you are interested in. One thing that Alia Njek does that is unique to them is a Twitter chat every month. Don't believe any of the other advisory committees actually do anything like that. And I think Alia Njek started their Twitter chats as a proactive way for them to understand what was important to students and new graduates coming into the sector. And the information that they gather, they then feed to the ALIA board and ALIA national office. But it also means for us that these Twitter chats are a great place to understand current trends and to network 
all from the comfort of your home. The last way that I think student and new grad librarians can get the most out of their ALIA membership is to volunteer at industry conferences. Now, it does depend on the terms set by the conference organising committee, but generally, if you volunteer at a conference, you then get to attend the rest of the conference for free. ALIA put together a few industry conferences, and they are ALIA Info Online, the ALIA National Conference, and then there are also ALIA's Library Technician and the New Librarian Symposium. And if there was any industry event that I'd recommend student and new grad librarians attend, it would be ALIA's New Librarian Symposium, commonly referred to as ALIA NLS. ALIA NLS is a biannual symposium, and it so happens that this year we have NLS 9 happening in South Australia in July. Every one of you, yes, you that's watching this video, I want to see you at NSL 9 this year. I'm on the organising committee for that conference, so you will see me there. And if you do, please come and say hi. Let's wrap this up by recapping what Alia can do for you as a student of librarianship or information management. ALIA can help you with your job hunt. When I started going to ALIA Snig's resume workshops, I learned so much from the speakers that they had and also my fellow students. Learning from others' experience is so valuable. Secondly, ALIA gives you chances to network, which is priceless in the information management sector. If you've watched any of my other videos, you will know how much I value networking and that in the small sector that we are, how effective networking is in opening opportunities for you. And thirdly, ALIA allows you to volunteer at industry conferences, which essentially gets you in for free. <laughs> it may not be the case for all of them, but for the three ALIA conferences that I have attended, all people who volunteered, they worked one day and then got to attend the rest of the conference for free. So you'll never know until you ask. As you can see, there are many parts to the professional association that we call ALIA, and there are many ways that you can use your membership and get involved. I've just focused on the things relevant to students and new grads, but there's so much more to the story. And if you want to know more, I'd suggest getting in contact with your ALIA state manager. Actually, I want to hear from you. Do you know who your ALIA state manager is? If you do, drop their name in the comments below. And if you don't, go research it and then drop their name in the comments below. If you are still here, thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. But could you also give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button because both actions let me know that you're finding this content useful so then I can make more like it. Remember to always be curious and I will see you same time next week.